Sup dudes, SGD here, and back to distraint, I've got five dollars. Now, if I'm... If my big giant brain is piecing things together... Ooh, I'm not throwing my money on the screen. Doing so would require commercials, that's very clever. Now, if I can piece this together at least somewhat right... What I think I want to do... Is go talk to old what's-his-butts back here... Combine the money, and then take that over, take that back to... Come on, come on, come on. There we go. His apartment's very difficult to get into. I mean, like, that's wildly inconvenient. Alright, I'm not gonna get- I am not giving him the money. However. However, I will take the money from him. Hey, buddy. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Well, okay, how about if I give you the money? Is this enough to pay the band in full? What? Never mind. That's... Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Dude moved. Ah. All the money in the world wouldn't cheer him up. Hey, McDade, Bruton, and more. That's... That's my spot. That's our building across the street, huh? That gave me an idea. Maybe I could promise the band some high quality elite gigs. I'd need to check from the bosses though. I think I should call them, and it just so happens that the number is right there. Need to find a, fo a phone. This is very, this is very convoluted. There's a lot of steps involved in this, in all these plans. I don't know what my five dollar bill is gonna do for me. And I'm still wondering about that- <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, my comments earlier about how this game is oh so straightforward and it's not even that difficult. Well, don't I feel silly for having said such a thing now. I was entirely incorrect, and I apologize for my incorrectitude. All right, where the Okay, there's another way to that to that apartment. I'm sure of it. There we go. I knew I knew <laughs> I knew I was navigating there the stupid way. I should ask them about the money, but I have a feeling I'll need this. Well, shit. Is there a phone? There's gotta be a phone somewhere. Wait. Maybe the bill was there for a reason. Nah. I figured there'd be a phone in the apartment. I figure most apartments have a phone. I don't know, am I... Is that like some crazy something? Is that like wildly off... off base? Or is that... or... Made sense to me at the time! Oh! Wow! What in God's name is that? I'm here to make a phone call! Wonderful! That'll be four dollars, sir! Oh! Well, yes I do! That'll be this! I'm here to make a phone call! Wonderful! That'll be four dollars, sir! There you go! Thank you, sir! Recite me the number and I shall dial it for you, sir! Here you go! Thank you, sir! Ah! I'm glad they kept the demon receptionist in storage. McDade, Mruden, and Moore's office, Miss McCone speaking. How can I be of your assistance? Hey, Jenny, this is Price calling. Could you please connect the call to one of the big guys? Oh, of course, Mr. Price. One second. Son! It's good to talk to you. How goes the job? Hey, Bruton, how goes it? Listen, there's this local band. You think I could hire them? A band? Well, can they play a real music? What kind of music is that? A real music, not some hipster shit. I take offense to that. Any specific genre in mind? Blues! If they play the blues, then hire them. All right, thank you, Bruton. Okay, I'm finished. Thank you, Mr. Telephone Man. Don't forget the change, sir. Well, I got a coin. Now. 
I'm gonna just, once again, giant brain. The band doesn't play the blues. That just feels like something they don't do. Come on, don't, 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 don't do that. So it's gonna turn out they don't play the blues. But what they do play is rock and roll. Cause they're a young wild band. Now I'm not gonna give them my coin. I have an offer for you. I'm working for this very classy company. We're having some awesome parties every now and then. We're definitely interested. So if you agree to play now, I'll give you your number to my bosses. But there's a small catch. They asked if you guys can play some blues. Blues, eh? Yes, I believe I've heard about the genre. Oh. You can't play blues? Maybe if we had some notes? Hang on there, guys. I'll figure something out. Well... I know where I'm going from here. I gotta do this- I gotta do this the goofy way, though. Unfortunately. But I have my plan. I'm feeling very smart. This is- this is one of those times in games where you feel good about yourself. You're like, yeah! I can figure things out! Come on, jackpot! Look at that! I won! A blues book? What kind of machine is this? Oh, I see. It's not like... <laughs> it's not a machine that plays music. It's a machine that gives you music? Yeah, you know, like those those vending machines with libretto and uh, musical theory books that you just see in apartment buildings all over the world. Here you go. I've come across this blues book. It just so happens. Do you want to give it a go? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I believe I got it. Oh. <gasps> Look at me dancing! Yeah! I don't know how to dance to the blues. You just sort of like... I guess you just sit there and appreciate it. That was awesome! Alright guys, let's get the party started and I'll promise you some high quality gigs. <laughs> well... I'm glad they're happy at least. <laughs> as long as they're happy, I'm happy. I mean... That's... How much can I complain really? When they're having such a good time. Okay, that's enough. I get it, game. You don't need to... You don't need to keep doing it quite that much. <laughs> Whoa, this is different. <gasps> What's this door? What's this door I see coming my way? Is this the door to my salvation? Oh, she got a bunny. Is that Mr. Goodwin? All the changes you asked for has been made. Thank you, Mr. Bray. Oh, Mr. Braden. See, I got myself a bunny to keep me company. Mrs. Chanel is her name. Well, I've become very attached to her, and I think she'll outlive me. See, that rabbit's dynamite. I understand, Mrs. Goodwin. Animals can bring a great comfort to their owners. I know that just as well as anybody. You're right, Mr. Braden. Yes, well, your will shall take care that she finds a good home. Should the need ever arise. That's the only thing I ask. It's very... I'm sorry, time's up. That would be $500, Mrs. Goodwin. Oh. Of course, Mr. Braden. Aww. Oh. What the hell is that? It's that sound. I hope I... Uh, all sorts of... I'm hoping I get the bunny. That would make me feel better. Let's see what's going on. Okay, something bad's happening somewhere. It's getting very loud. Ah! Fucking Christ! Okay! Whoa! Ha 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 ha! You're right, dear! How silly that day was! Look, dear, it's our little boy! 
I can see that, hun. Mom? Dad? What? What is this? Oh! I hope we didn't wake you, dear. You did! What the we, we wanted to surprise you, me and your mother, by preparing you breakfast! Okay, 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 think! This... It's, it's not happening. You're nothing but my subconscious mind. That is correct, son. We're a part of you. But what's the meaning of this? Can't you see, son? This is not the work for you. But you already know this, don't you? We thought to make sure would understand by feeding you the guilt. Your elephant. I'm sorry, son. I know it's a bit extreme. But we are only... Stop it! Oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh, sh... Okay. Alrighty. Need coffee. I'll get coffee later. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. I like that the elephant in the room actually was the elephant in the room. Like, I thought they didn't just use it for the pun of throwing an elephant at me. That was good stuff. All right. Distraint. Damn. Uh, we're just going to keep going. All right. Check it out in the description. You know how we do. But, till next time, SGD out.